Defining the cognitive behavior within the learning goal is essential in ensuring that the goal is measurable, which relates to the assessments that we will develop later. We want to know that there is something being used that can actually measure the goal. Not only that, but the instrument or measure selected to assess the learning goal must be appropriate and a high quality assessment. It is critical that valid tools to measure the degree to which students achieve the learning goal are identified. At a basic level, learning goal identifies some low, rigor, low level rigor cognitive behavior such as recall or reproduction of basic skills. To be proficient, a learning goal would appropriately identify the cognitive behaviors that are at the analyzing and applying level, such as comparing, explaining, demonstrating, and that they are also embedded in each unit of study of the course or content and are present in various assignments throughout each unit. A distinguished learning goal would appropriately identify the cognitive behaviors that are at the evaluating or creating level embedded in each unit of study of the course or content and present in various assignments throughout each unit. The cognitive behavior would also represent different types of levels of learning such as depth of knowledge. So let's walk through one teacher's travels through trying to develop a measurable learning goal. Their first attempt was, by the end of the school year, students would demonstrate understanding of art concepts and vocabulary while responding to media. A clarifying question that might be asked by either a team member or administrator would be, how will students demonstrate their understanding of art concepts and vocabulary? What does it mean to respond to media? The teacher might answer that they need to analyze, deconstruct, interpret, read, critique, communicate. Great. So the revision the teacher might have made is by the end of the school year, students will analyze and evaluate visual information by creating, deconstructing, reading, critiquing, interpreting, communicating with intent about artistic principles, i.e. emphasis, repetitions, textures, balance, line, and form. By this transformation of this learning goal, we move to one that was uh, less defined to one that's clearly defined that a high quality assessment can be developed with.